Tiana Unique here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited that we are about to do a video that I have been trying to prepare for from some weeks now. Um, I'm so happy that I have a sponsor or a collaboration with this video. But before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you are a subscriber already, welcome back. And this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial on how to make your own jersey jacket now the letterman's jackets are like a big trend right now for girls especially the teenagers where they're the crop style and i seen of uh, uh shanti wear this during a performance and i looked up the jacket that she had on which i'll show that picture right here it was over four thousand dollars and i'm like four thousand dollars for like a letterman style jacket I can definitely make one cheaper than that. And so I actually went on Amazon and found the perfect jacket for this tutorial. Feel free that if you already have one and you want to go ahead and add your own patches to it, do your own thing. I definitely um, love to upcycle things. So going that route is much easier. But let's go ahead and get into this jersey jacket okay so first we are going to get into this jersey jacket i absolutely love this i got it off of amazon the link is in the description but uh, they have a lot of different colors but i want to try to mimic as much as possible of the color that ashanti wore the jacket so i went ahead and went with this fuchsia looking pink now on amazon they are calling this a rose i think it's a rose red is what they're calling it but it is definitely to me fuchsia pink and i wanted to make sure that the sleeves were white as well now this is a very stretchy material and it is the cropped and it has pockets and as you can tell you cannot see through this i wanted to also make sure that it was thick enough to where i could actually wear it and stay warm because, you know, you want to not have a jacket that is purposeless, really. So, anyway, I am so excited about this. And now, we're going to put a couple of patches in the front. Definitely in the back and on the sleeves to mimic as much as possible of that same uh, jersey jacket style. Now let's get into where these patches are coming from. Super excited. This video is in collaboration with Patch Party Club. Now this is their website, patchpartyclub.com. Now on Patch Party Club, you can find a large variety of beautiful patches from small, very intricate, sequins, patches, you name it, they have it. This is a black owned company and a lot of their patches are black empowerment and black love kind of patches, which I absolutely love, love, love. And big thing, if you are the type that likes to do upcycling or if you are big on patches, which I believe I am about to be because I am super excited about this jacket then uh, they have a subscription where you can go and subscribe to uh, their party patch box and you can get patches every month okay so here are the patches that was sent to me so first is this queen here um this is definitely going on the back i am absolutely loving the detail and quality of these patches as you can see these are heat so this is the adhesive so these are heat soluble they will definitely attach on with heat we will be using an iron for this and then um look at this savage so beautiful i am excited so um i'm definitely going to play around with these but this is kind of what i'm feeling for the back uh-huh. Let's go ahead and take a look at some more of these patches. Oh, 
Okay, so I've placed these patches down. I'm trying to figure out how I want the back to look. And so, as you can see here, I just have it laid out and positioned. So you definitely want to do yours and lay it out. Make sure that it is nice, even, and straight before you iron this on. Now, this jacket is a polyester with some spandex so you want to make sure that your heat is on medium heat so not too low not too high especially not high because you don't want to melt your fabric or melt any of your details in your patch so if you have an iron that actually has a polyester setting i would suggest that you do go that route and all i'm going to do is i'm going to press this down i do believe i am going to put a t-shirt or something in between if it feels like it is going to get too hot for these stones um but i'm going to go ahead and give that a try now i really like this one so i know i definitely want it to go right here and this is another one that stood out for me so i think i'm going to put her on that side and then this one let's see i'm just gonna play around with the placement but i want to make sure that it's in places that i really feel like are going to stand out okay so now i have my patches attached to the front and the back i have not done the arms yet but what i want to talk to you about is um, with certain patches there's different things that you may have to do so like for this type of patch if you have it has the um the plastic that is on top of it and you want to heat press it with your iron before you peel off the plastic topping now when it comes to these these on the back which i'm going to show you an example like this they have adhesive all the way to the edge and so when you get ready to heat press them, you won't really have to worry about any edges coming up. But with a patch like this one, as you can see on the back of this, we have heavy um, threading going all the way around it. Now, when you get ready to heat press this or iron this down, your adhesive here in the center is going to take well, but you are gonna have the ends where they kind of lift up a bit. So to show you right here, I have, they, they lifting up. I have already attached this, but it lifts up right here in the corner. And yeah, a little bit in my corners. So what you're going to do is take needle and thread, and this is the clear thread. Instead of having to worry about getting a red, a pink, a blue, a purple, if you purchase some of the clear thread and a needle and you're just going to simply tack the edges by weaving in and out going down here now it doesn't have to be like super tight just make sure i mean super close together just make sure that you tacking just around the edges and that way that'll secure your patch down so that way when it comes to washing of course we're going to wash this in um, cold water we're not going to wash this in hot water and then we are going to tumble dry on low so we won't have to worry about our patches getting messed up but we want to make sure that we tack our ends with this now if you want to tack these down the ones that are you know with the adhesive all the way to the end you can if you would like but to me that's just overkill and i didn't want i don't want to do that but i'm definitely the ones like this and like this one i am going to tack down my edges so that way it is nice and secure okay this is what it looks like at the end i can say a mission accomplished this jacket is giving everything it came to give and more thanks for following like comment share and subscribe as always be unique see you next week